Okay guys, yesterday I showed you how to get a car off the internet and how to put it into Photoshop. Now we're going to put rims on it. So I'm just going to go over what I showed you guys yesterday and then we're going to add the rims on it today and I'm going to show you guys every single step of the way so no one gets lost. Alright, so first thing, I took the liberty of myself to go to the internet and find a car. So I'm going forward now and I'm going to highlight it and I'm gonna copy it. I did it this way because it's easier so you guys could look at this on the screen you don't even need volume and everyone can do this on their own by watching and if you want to watch volume maybe I'll make exceptions for headphones we'll see how you act so I'm gonna go to a file new and the image is pre-templated with the pixels preset so I'm gonna just leave it that way and I'm gonna change RGB to CMYK color hit OK now that's the set um, exact size for the car. So now you just go edit. Let me see if it'll let me paste. Can I copy? Let me see if it'll go back in. Edit. No, wait. Let me reset that. File new. Okay. Yes. And now we'll go edit paste. Okay, it's not letting me paste it, which is fine. So I'm going to hit print screen. Go into Photoshop now. Get out of this. Go to file new. And this is fine and now let's paste there it is I'm gonna crop the car easy as pie hit the cropping tool and now you've cropped the car now you have it in its own layer these are the layers once again that I went over with you guys now I'm deleting the background because you don't need it it's garbage for now so to layer one we're gonna call it double click on the open plane call it car okay now I'm going to go straight to the internet and we're going to get a set of rims. So once we go here, I'm going to go to the top and I'll type in dub spinners. Because I know that this gives me a great hit for search. I love this rim, so I'm going to use this one. So I'll click this one. It works great for every car. It's kind of really universal. So I'll go to view image and there it is. I'm going to hit print screen again. Go back into Photoshop paste it in. Bon, there it is. Get close to the image. Move it. And now I'm slowly going to trace with the magnetic lasso tool. I told you guys about the lasso tool, how it just goes in a circle, right? Deselect, right click deselect. You can use the polygonal, which goes only where you direct it. Or in this case, we're going to use the magnetic lasso tool, which actually grabs pixels. So I'm going to click here, and I'm slowly going to trace the perimeter of this rim. Nice and easily. I mean, you can go a little bit out of the lines. You don't have to be a Michelangelo for this. It does help if you are. So we're going slow and steady, right? Go around the edge. All the way up to the top. There. Stop. Add it. When you see the path is completed, it does the dotted line, right? Got right, guys? Add it. Cut. I no longer need this layer anymore. So I'm going to throw it out. It's garbage. History. Now, I have my car again, and I can't see everything, so I'm going to move this out of the way. You can hit Control-0, which will fit everything on the screen. And now I'm going to go to Edit Paste. Now I've got the rim. I go to Control-T, as in Transform, and I'm going to shrink the rim. Okay, I'm going to bring it up. Now it's on the car, and I'm going to make it look really sharp. You know, I don't do that yet. No. Do it nice. Make everything fit the way it's supposed to. You guys know that, right? There you go. And do it with class, all right? There you have it. Beautiful. If you want to make your rims pink, we can do that later. For now, just get them to tailor made to fit your car. There you have it. So there's the front rim. And now we duplicate it by dragging it right next to the garbage pail and letting it go. Now we have two overlapping layers here with little thumbnails. So I'm going to click the Move tool and move this rim to the back. And I'm going to hit Control-T in this layer as well. And I'm going to shrink it a bit, just a bit more, bring it on in. And as I told you, from diagonal perspective, it gets smaller as you go further back, right? And we come in, and there you have it. Click the Move tool, Apply, and now, oh, that looks hideous. Hold on, Control-T. There it is. I love it. Move tool and apply it. All right. There you have it. Not half bad. Now we've just, wait, edit. I'm a perfectionist. Let's fix that. Uh, yes, okay. That's good. Now, if you double click this one, this is your back rim. 
and if you double click this one this is your front rim I want you to make layers of every single graphic you do and I want your original reference to be left untouched so we show the process alright good luck guys thank you